Okay, if you guys remember at all uh, from the previous video, I talked about wanting to put a camera up in this corner. So this is above the, the patio area and the door is somewhere right about there to get out. And this is approximately the corner. So I was right about there being a two by four that runs along uh, that vinyl or soffit, whatever this stuff is called. And um, one of the problems that I noticed while we're up here is that there's a big board here that looks like it's going to prevent me from getting exactly in the corner. Now, I think I can drill through that and then the 2x4 underneath, but I'm not sure if I want to do that. Um, and we may just go slightly off to the left instead because I know I can drill through that and then I can just drill through the soffit later. I think that would be the best move here, or the best move to do here. So this is one of the situations where I got to say, uh, follow a professional and do what they do. Don't do what I do, because I'm uh, just kind of winging it. So I think this is a good spot for the camera. So we're just gonna drill down. All right, so in there is the hole I just drilled. There's a little piece of wood that I can just pull out. But now all I need to do is just drive uh, through the vinyl. And I think I'll be able to run the cable through at this point. All right, and we got our hole drilled through the vinyl. So now I think I can squeeze my network cable through there and then we will make an end on that. So I know it's gonna be hard for you guys to see, but we just need to get this through that hole and then we will be good to go. And of course, it doesn't fit perfectly, but what I'm gonna do is just try and work the um, jacket down so it's a little bit more slim and then we can hopefully just shove it through the hole. Okay, it fits perfectly through there. So I'm just kinda pushing it down just to give it some more slack. And now we are ready to mount our first camera. I have to go all the way back out there uh, to do this part, oh boy. We're under the patio now and we're just gonna come up here and see what happened. And it looks like everything worked out perfectly fine. And so this is centered um, through the two by four that's underneath here. So I know that if I drill through here in any type of way um, that the hole uh, is centered, which is awesome. So now we just need to get the ubiquitous camera mounted. And I'm not sure how I'm gonna show you guys that because I only have one hand and uh, there's no way to mount the camera up here. So we're basically gonna do is just put that through there and then line it up about like that. So there's two holes right there. And then we're gonna mark where those holes are and then take a drill to it. Um, and I think that's about the only way I'm gonna be able to mount this thing. Uh, and I won't be able to record it, so I just want to give you guys an idea of what I'm going to do, though. All right, I've got my two uh, points drilled, and then I'm going to use this, whatever size this is, to drill my pilot holes, and then we're going to screw it in. Well, bam, and it's mounted up there, and so I think that'll hold. It's a little loose, but I think it'll be all right, uh, in my opinion. And now we just need to make our cable, and we'll have our camera mounted, and then we need to make the other end, and it's ready to go. There we go. Camera's mounted up there. Almost in the perfect corner. We'll probably play around with this exact uh, position once we uh, get it connected on the other end to the rack. Uh, so yeah, I pulled all the slack through and we should have plenty of slack to make mistakes as well as, uh, I don't know, do all sorts of things. So it's gonna be like that for now and then we'll do some readjusting later as needed. In the poorest fashion possible, UVC G3 camera popped up on my network about 21 seconds ago. So that means it's connected. Now all we have to do is do the other one at the front of the house and we'll be done. All right, sorry for the bad sound. I left the microphone downstairs. So you all just have to put up with this. Um, so we're above the entryway to the house and uh, it turns out it actually probably been a lot easier to run the cable this way uh, instead of all the way around or around and then uh, underneath here and all that stuff. So we're gonna drill a hole probably right there and uh, do the same thing that we did for the back of the house and uh, we will be done. So let's get to it. Okay, we've successfully got our Cat 6 cable run through that hole down, the, down in there. Uh, so we should be good to go for the last camera. This is where the camera on the front door will be mounted in that top left corner. Uh, the camera's not working so uh, we're just going to leave that there uh, for now. But yeah, that was uh, not too bad. Let's go take a look at the network closet. So I decided to temporarily put these Cat6 ends on uh, for now instead of using 
um, the keystones like I did before with these cables here. And that's because uh, I basically intend on using them uh, as soon as as today. Uh, unfortunately, one of them's not working, but that's besides the point. Um, so what we'll do is when we get the network rack and if we put it over here, over here, or even up there, um, we'll cut these heads off and then we'll um, just put them in the patch panel. So the patch panel will have something that's like a keystone in there and then that will be how they are forever done. Well, we pretty much finished up, but one of the ubiquity cameras is dead. I'm not really sure why it's dead. Um, I'm. I don't know, I could have done something wrong. But anyway, it's dead. So we're gonna submit for an RMA on that one and then hopefully we can get a replacement. Uh, but this project's pretty much done and um, I don't really know what else there is to say about it. Everything, well, not everything. The, la the one camera that is up and installed is running and is working perfectly fine. So it'll be a while until we can get a replacement for this. But uh, yeah, it was, uh, I'd say about on the scale of medium, mostly because, you know, I'm a novice and I've never done this before. Uh, but with a little bit more practice, I'd say it's pretty easy, uh, at least in this house, because I have really tall attics and lots of other sweet perks. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you all next time.